Hey, Springfield family, it's Pastor Map, the reimagination pastor right here at the Springfield Baptist Church. And I just wanna share a few moments with you as we delve into my personal devotion. My focal verses will be coming from Philippians chapter number two, verses one through five. Well, you know what? Let me just give you one of those verses, that key verse. I wanna read all of that. Read it back in your personal time. But verse number four says, let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. That's what it takes to be a servant of God. Sometimes we tend to separate our service to God and our service to other people. We tend to forget that the majority of our service to God is actually done in our interactions with other people. If we love God, we'll show it by how well we love other people. If we have faith, we'll show it in our works towards those other people. And what I've discovered is that service is one of the key pillars in the kingdom of God. And right at the core of serving is attitude. You've heard the old adage, your attitude determines your altitude, which simply means that uh, so is your disposition, so is how far you'll go in this world. So as we go throughout this Lenten season, let's remain humble as humble servants of God. But as we're serving people, as we're blessing this community, as we're empowering the world, let's make sure that we're not doing it for our own accolades and to pump ourselves up, but so that we can be the agents of change and the hands and the extensions of God in this world so that others may be impacted and blessed as well. Won't you join me in a word of prayer? God, I thank you for who you are. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, being the exemplar servant to us all. And now as we continue during this season of Lent, we pray that we'll be as Jesus was, a blessing to all and someone that will always be there to lend a helping hand, not for our own glory, but so that you may get all of the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. It's in Jesus' name we pray and believe, and the people of God together said amen, amen, and amen.